Hey guys, it's Cassie. Today I'm gonna be making a horse treat pizza. So it's just a giant gourmet pizza. So I'm just going to combine Tasty and the equestrian world and we're just gonna see what happens. So I've decided what I'm gonna do for the crust, the sauce, and the toppings. We're just gonna see what happens. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to take my flour and salt as well as the oats and the carrots. And we're just gonna mix them up. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to add my oil and my honey. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix it all up. I've never made this recipe before, so I don't know if this recipe is even any good. I might need to add some more oil or water because it seems like it's gonna be really freaking because man. Okay, so here I have a quarter cup of water that I'm going to be adding just because my mixture is really, really dry. Um, and it's going to make it a bit wetter. Okay, so now I have a pan and my dough. So I'm going to take my dough and I'm just going to flop it on the pan here. And I'm pretty sure just with the way this recipe is, it will stay the exact shape I put it in, hopefully. So... Yeah, we're just gonna plop it all on there. And then I'm just gonna take my spatula and just kind of like, I don't know, like spread it out into the shape I want. So since this has carrots in it, it will be a bit of an orange dough. Um, and in retrospect, I really should've used carrots, but that's okay, this will still work. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven I'm going to put it in at 350 degrees for probably about 20 minutes, um, and we're just going to see what happens. juice and then flour to thicken it up and then I have very limited red so I have all these colors to try and make it more red like okay so first I'm just going to pour in some apple juice and then I'm going to get a spoon and I'm just gonna spoon in a bit of flour just to thicken it and then I'm just gonna whisk it up and it looks like puke wonderful I had no idea what was gonna happen <laughs> that's just horses are allergic to tomatoes so that's why I can't just use tomato sauce. So here I have kind of the consistency I want. So I'm gonna go with this, and then I'm gonna dye it. So first I'm gonna start with, so there's no red, so I'm just gonna go with a bit of pink, this like burgundy. Ooh, that's really, really fun. I'm gonna try some green. This is now experimenting with Cassie. Okay, that did nothing. More green. Go with a bunch of green. Oh, there we go. That's a bit more. Okay, that's Frick. Okay, I'm gonna restart. So we're doing this again. Just take flour. We know how much it needs. We're gonna start. So then we're gonna start adding red food coloring, which this is definitely pink, but figure if we add enough of it, it might be red. Alrighty, here is our final product. Um, it's not at all what I was going for. It's very, very pink. But now I'm going to make pepperoni pieces. So I'm gonna take the back of this icing thing and just like, how do you know if this is gonna work? Try and like make a circle of this apple where it's red and then like peel it off. After I have a circle, I'm just gonna peel it. Oh shoot, okay. That was fine. I can do better, I can do better, okay. Okay, that was a fail. Nothing happened. Here we go. We'll just carve around it. Oh, yes! Yes! That's good. That's good. Okay, then I'm just going to peel it. There. There is a nice piece of pepperoni. because that's all I need to do. Here they are. 
Here are my 10 beautiful pieces of pepperoni. Okay, so I think it's done. So I'm gonna bring it over and we're gonna dress this pizza. So we have our sauce, our cheese, our pepperoni, and our pizza. Let's go for cheese. I literally just did carrots because it's the simplest thing and I think it'll probably taste the best for the horse. For my sauce, it's very pink, but I'm just going to start scooping this out onto my Alrighty, so we have our sauce, and then I'm going to put my cheese on top. I have all my cheese placed, and I'm going to put all my pepperonis. Okay, so I lost the next clip, but I'm all done my pizza. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, but now I'm going to take it to the barn and see if my horses like it. Okay, so I'm in Tulip's paddock. So we're gonna cut it up and we're gonna see if it works. I'm gonna try to cut it right now. So I brought uh, a knife and a cutting board into her paddock. It's really smart, I know. We have our little piece of pizza. Oh, she wants it. So far, Tulip, come over here. Look this way. She likes it. Oh, she's totally a fan. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Tulip is really into the pizza. She would just eat it all day long, literally. Like, she's obsessed. We have a bunch of slices of pizza, and we're going to go give it to these. Okay. Let's try you. Tulip. Tulip. <laughs> really destroyed it all. Hey. Tulip is like destroying all my treats. Stop, you're eating too many. Tulip is like obsessed with me. <laughs> Look at this. All she wants is pizza. She really likes pizza. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if Favor wants some. <laughs> wow, I can't believe any of the horses will even eat it. They all love it. This horse hates everything. I wanna see if she likes it. Oh my gosh, they all freaking love it. What is this? Look, she loves it. This is insane. Okay guys, overall these treats were a huge success. Like the treats themselves didn't turn out exactly how I wanted them to look, but the horses literally loved them so much. So that's good. I guess it's just because it's like all carrot and they love carrots. So that's good. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, make sure to comment down below some gourmet meals you should try. I should try with my horses. Okay, bye guys. Wait, before you go, comment down below some gourmet meals I should make into horse treats. Also, make sure to check out another video of mine and subscribe. Okay, bye guys.